Yo, I'm telling you. This is Jill. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ranch. Sassy, moody, nasty. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Simply Bria Bria. What she say? Simply Bria Bria. It's your girl Jabri here. And sorry, I forgot to film an intro for this video. But today, we're just going to be doing my first ever wash and go. And I'm going to be trying the um, Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel. So, yeah, this is day two hair. I just pulled it in a puff using that gel. So, yeah, just stay tuned for my um, thoughts on the product. And we're just going to hop right into the video. So I wasn't going to record, but, y'all, I did this whole half. And I was like, I got to show them. So, first, I just want to say how I started. Show how I started. My hair are in these twists. I did wash it and deep condition it. Well, I used conditioner and deep conditioner. And then I just used this leave-in conditioner the as i am it's the same one that i showed in my um my last video what video was that braid out i think so yeah and then i just used this jamaican black castor oil the peppermint yeah the peppermint kind i'll have everything linked in the description box below by the way so you're not gonna have to like search and try to remember i have everything listed but y'all this is the truth shout out to pilar um i don't know i just started following her on youtube we go to school together and yeah i'm glad i subscribed to her youtube channel i'm gonna link it in the cards and down below check out her channel but yeah she was using this auntie jackie's don't shrink and at first i was like sis like i see you work on your hair but then we work on my hair but she was like it's so good so i was like let me look it up and so i looked up like other 4c videos and i Lord and behold, I saw another girl using this same product. So I was like, well, let me try it. Let me get my first impressions. And so far, y'all, the first impressions, first the smell. I don't know if you're supposed to be smelling gels or whatever, but it smells so good. Like, it smells so good. Not so good, but it smells good. Um, and it's very, like, soft. It's not as thick of a gel as I would have expected. It's a very soft type of gel and yeah it really does define your curls so i'm just showing you guys like what i do or what i did i try to put it all the way throughout and then i put a little more extra usually at the end and before i brush it or anything this is how it looks and then i just take this little brush I think it's supposed to be like a knockoff Den Denman brush, but yeah, this is all I got. So this is what I'm going to take, and I'm going to just comb that through. And then, I think this is called the shingling method. Um, so yeah, I just take it a little piece by piece and twirl it. I may put a little bit more on there, depending on if it feels a little bit drier. That's another thing about this gel. I moisturized my hair really heavy because I was like, I thought the gel was gonna be drying, but the gel is actually very, very moisturizing. Like, y'all, I'm telling you, this gel is the truth. It really is. And this um, 15 ounce um, only cost me $9. So price is not bad at all. I want y'all to see the effects. But yeah, I'm gonna come back. Oh, and I'm using these little clips too. Um, I'll show the show a picture of the pack just in the beauty supply store because I thought it maybe helped stretch my hair more. That's one thing about like 4C type hair is that um it shrinks up. So yeah, but I'll be back once I get closer to the front and I'll show you guys again and talk a little bit more about the product. So yeah. Okay guys, so I'm back and I only have one more section. And I realized that I said earlier that this helps stretch it. I don't know if it helps stretch it, but uh, y'all let me know in the comment section below um, if it does. And if it doesn't, let me know what do you use to stretch your hair. But yeah, and ignore the part, y'all, because I forgot to straighten it. Okay. 
you already know it's nothing new I can't part so yeah I'm just running my fingers through with that gel and honestly there's no certain amount I say just feel your hair at least for me I know certain places I can feel my hair um, a little not rougher but a little bit rougher than the rest so that's kind of how I know and then I'm gonna just go through with this brush and it doesn't necessarily help define the hair, but it does help like separate the hair so you can get it even more defined. Okay, that wasn't as, I don't know, that wasn't as cute as I was expecting, but I really love this gel, y'all. Like, I ain't gonna even cap. I ain't no capping in my rep. I'm loving this gel. And I find that for me to like separate it, get it on each piece, that's kind of why I, um, why I'm pulling it apart and twisting it individually. Um, certain hair types may not need to do this, but I know for mine, unless you have like a, I don't know, maybe a certain brush can help do it. Again, if you know, let me know in the comment section below so I can try it. But yeah, I'm just let y'all watch this. Okay, y'all, so this is how it looks right now. Like I said, I have the clips in just so it can help scratch it or at least lay it flatter at the roots. So I'll come back when it's all dry and let you know, let you guys see how it looks and uh, see if it works. The back is already starting to dry and this still feels good. It feels very light. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed look. Um, it's not all the way dry, but I didn't want to keep procrastinating. So yeah, if you want to know how long it took to dry, I'll try to leave it in the comment section below. But yeah, like, as for, like, how defined it is, I'm really loving it, like. And if you see any white stuff, that's just my product. But it's definitely drying, so yeah, don't be alarmed. And let me show you guys the back. So yeah, like it really defined it really good. Like I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't think I would be able to get this type of definition from anything. Cause like, yeah, it's just hard out here. It's hard out here, okay? It's hard out here. But yeah, it really gave good definition. I know it's called the don't shrink, but uh, I guess when you got 4C, you gonna get some a lot of shrinkage. Not some, but a lot. So yeah, I just think I maybe if I try different stretching techniques, it'll be good, it'll be better, like it'll hang longer. But overall, like, I like it. I like it. I don't know if it's just quicker than, like, a wash and go. I mean, not a wash and go. Than a twist out or a braid out. But it's, I don't know, it's cool. Like, I like it. So, yeah, this don't shrink. This don't shrink um, flaxseed elongating curling gel is the truth. And on the back, I was reading it, I think. Oh, no, this one didn't say it. It was the other ones. But, yeah, it's for... All hair types. Yeah, ignore the shape. I think I want my hair cut into a certain shape because I never really got it cut professionally. So yeah, if you know somebody in the Houston area, comment below right now, okay? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I definitely did. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, comment, like. Comment, subscribe, like. All of that.
Well, I'm not going to tell you again all of that. And yeah, make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you guys are notified when I post a new video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Love you all.